And then he drops the mini P.E.K.K.A under the mini horde. Look, you can't even see the mini P.E.K.K.A. Hello everyone, it is Neon Black Game here back with another YouTube video and two days. You can see I'm playing some more Clash Royale and I have a magical chest here from Arena 7. Sadly, I dropped down to Arena 7 and then back up to Arena 8 and got it in Arena 7. But we're going to open that right after we watch a very, very special replay. This is probably one of the best strategies in the entire history of Clash Royale because it is it it is insanely, insanely hard to counter and see. Just watch this. I mean literally it's insanely hard to see. I'm not even kidding. So here we go, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find that one. Um, here we are, right there. Okay, so this is the strategy. It's it's pretty decent. He has a giant skeleton, minion horde, skeleton army, um, spear goblins, hog rider. Pretty, I guess that's a standard deck with a couple variations and a mini P.E.K.K.A. So it doesn't seem too deadly at first and a little bit kind of thrown together, but you'll see why in a minute. And there's a special combo that is super, super cool that I really want you guys to see. So here we go. I have a really good counter here, um, which is great because I can take out the giant skeleton. Then I can zap. I should have fireballed because then I could have saved those barbs, but that's for later. Um, and then I, the tower can just one-shot them to death. So right now it's fine. The mini P.E.K.K.A. I see, I can, I, it's perfectly fine. I can counter that with a Tesla and the tower will take care of the rest so it's pretty easy from now here um so i'm gonna fast forward just a tiny bit so as you can see um the mini uh the mini i can't even talk anymore guys the mini pekka plus the fire spirit combo is insane um he drops his um <clears throat> skeleton army um so i take that out easy so let's fast forward just a little bit so right now i'm in the lead by a lot even more in the lead his giant skeleton is dropped again then i drop barbarians and i drop a fireball there we go that's how i should have dealt with it and this tower should go down right now boom okay so now it gives us the cry face so we're gonna fast forward a little bit more so it seems like i got this game in the bag right i mean it's there's a minute and like 10 seconds left and then we can just counter the hog rider and we're done we um should be easy peasy lemon squeezy but you know there's a special strategy this guy is using that it only works once but when it works it's insane and just a little hint when you're facing anyone, use volume, because when I was facing this guy, I had no volume on, so I couldn't hear what troops he was dropping, and I'll explain why in a minute. So here we go, he drops uh, the <clears throat> minion horde, uh, just kidding, oh my gosh, the skeleton army, I can't even talk at all. Now he drops the minion horde, then I can zap the minion horde, okay, great, um, and then he drops the mini P.E.K.K.A. under the minion horde. Look, you can't even see the mini P.E.K.K.A., you can't even see it, and now you can, but it's too late. He freezes, I should have froze, I panic, I drop everything I can, it's even lagging on the screen. Screen. Guys, did you see that? No, you didn't because it was under the minion horde. What in the world? Oh my gosh, that was crazy. That's what I mean. Turn up the volume because you can't hear the mini pack coming. You just can't hear it. And so then, then you can't see it or hear, and then you're just completely screwed because you could not see that at all. The mini horde was not visible. And I mean, the I can't even talk anyway. The uh, the mini peck wasn't visible, and that just cost me the game, because watch this. You can just fast forward, as you can see, I can counter the rest. He froze, pretty bad freeze. If I had more time, I probably would have won. That trick will not work twice, because then you realize, wait a minute, you check the mini horde twice to make sure there's nothing under it, like a mini peck or something, and that works. This lag is insanely horrible, but as you can see right there, just turn up your volume and make sure to watch out for that attack, because after this video... I'm going to probably try that myself. So it looks like a pretty good attack strategy. So here we go. Let's go open that chest up. Um, wow, that lag was great. Um, actually, no, let's do a live battle after this chest. So here we go. Bam. Open now. Okay, here we go, guys. Come on, legendary. Please, legendary. Okay, here we go. Barbut. Furnace. Mini P.E.K.K.A. I'll take that. Gee, look how many rares. Wait a minute. No. Legendary for me. Darn it. Yeah, that sucked. Okay, now let's do a battle. Okay, let's use this deck right here. Okay, we're in Legendary Arena. Hopefully we don't lose. We should win this. And so sorry for the lag. I have no idea what's happening here. So level 9, thank you very much. That's the first level 9 I've seen in a while. Drop the Elixir Pump first. This deck is going to be... Click on the eye in the top right corner. That should lead you right to the deck. So we're going to put... Oh, God. Really? Really? You have to do that to me right now? Okay, that's fine, though. We can deal with that pretty easily. Luckily, the Princess is not focused on the tower. We can take out the rest. Look at these Spear Goblins, guys. Check this out. Great counter right there. Amazing counter. He got a tiny bit of damage, but look at this. We're gonna get wow, Ice Wizard. Come on, man. Really, just chill out. Well, he is chilling out, but you know, you know what I mean. Okay, so here we go. Tesla in the middle. Uh, actually, that's kind of a waste. I honestly don't care about that. I'm just gonna drop this right here. See what he can do here. Now he's starting to freak out because I have the elixir pump. He drops one too. Okay, so that's good. Now he's minus five elixir. Um, we're gonna start to build up a pretty gnarly push coming up here. So eight elixir, nine elixir, and then this here. Okay. And then we're going to drop Fire Spirits right there. Okay. 
Ah, we're going to fireball that. We have to fireball that uh, instantly right there like that. Or else we're going to face some trouble here. So we're going to drop that right there. And there we go. That's how we roll. That is how we roll. This tower is going to almost go down. My guess is around 600 health left. Um, but I'm pretty sure we got this one in the bag. Um, okay, so there we go. We're in the lead. He's probably going to drop his hog rider. But I come on, Tesla. Thank you. I thought it wasn't popping up for a second there. I'm so happy you're facing level 9. Because normally we don't face level 9s. And it's super annoying. I face level 10s. And it just is annoying. You know what, Princess? So, ooh, perfect timing. It's going to get the tower and hit those guys. And we're going to drop the fire spirits here. Yes, guys. Check this out. Bam. Princess is going to take out the tower. Ooh, guys. Check that out. Look at that. Ooh, we almost took out his princess. One more fire. One more fire. Good job, princess. There we go. Um, we're going to have to drop barbs there just because I hate the princess, um, you know, in the way. Okay, now we're going to drop these here. And that should be game over. Game over. Yeah, use your fireball. That is game over. Oh, what? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Um, hopefully, we can take that out. Uh, let's drop Tesla here. Um, I'm not giving him time to drop his hog rider. That's the thing here. If he drops it right now, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Um, but, oh, geez. Okay, let's uh, let's just drop this here um, because we have to. We can't risk it. We can't risk it. Come on, take out the uh, ice wizard. Bam, good job. There we go, guys. Um, now we're going to just drop the princess, take out his tower, and then we're going to be good to go. Bam. Come on, come on. One more hit, one more hit. Oh, fudge, 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 fudge. Drop this here. Bam. Okay, good counter right there. And we're just going to keep the pressure up here. We're going to keep the pressure here. We're going to force him to drop troops there that he does not want to drop. And then we're going to drop... Ah, that's a great counter. Where did that come from? No clue. Okay, we'll get ready for his hog rider. Here we go. Getting ready. There he is. Okay, see that, guys? Game set. Oh, great. Okay, we're going to fireball right there. Take out the ice wizard and the... Um, great. Okay, don't zap. Okay, beautiful fireball on your part. Um, uh, well played. Well played, my friend. Well played. Um, yeah, you're going to want to drop it a little bit farther next time because that's game over. Bam! There we go. There we go. See, whenever I play on screen, it works. And when I, oh, Jesus! Oh, jeez! I can't even drop troops. Okay, I almost lost there. Jeez, oh, I was afraid. Okay, good job. Okay, there we go. I freaked out at the end there for no reason. Um, and that's how we do it. That's how you use this deck the right way. What do I get? A silver chest and twenty nine more trophies. Sweet. Okay, so now I'm back out of that danger zone of getting relegated. Um, so that's about it. Um, I'm actually having fluctuating between 2,700 and 3,150 trophies. It's insane. It's crazy, but I'm back up. And how many days are left in the season? There are 3.2, no, 3 days, 2 hours. You get the point there. And that's about it. So I really do hope you enjoyed that anticlimactic chest opening. Let's go buy one of these. And that's about it. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next video.